Because I'm a relatively new joiner to Board Namona and uh, already I've had exposure to quite a diverse range of products. Um, examples would be, uh, say, a corporate fit-out office in the old Board Namona headquarters building in Bagot Street in Dublin, ranging from that down to uh, the construction of a landfill site down in Alamode in County Kildare. So those two are, are complete opposite ends of the scale when it comes to construction projects. There's a lot of different business units, so we work for all of them. Uh, so I suppose civil works in itself is varied, but we're fortunate here that we get to see the full variety and not just one particular part of it, of the discipline. There's a wide range of scope within each uh, within an engineering role. You have basically from project conception, you go through to design stage, developing prices, getting the project delivered and then uh, completed. You see everything, it's, it's, it's very good. In certain industries, certain parts of the private industry, you might work on a particular part, be it planning or design or construction. Whereas here, we tend to be involved from the very beginning to the very end. And that's obviously, a, I suppose, a huge variety in itself. The job is very uh, broad. The scale, the scale of the, the operations in Bordemona is quite, quite large, and the job kind of encompasses all of the operations. Every bay you go into has a machine in it that's been modified in some way or shape. It's, it's, really, it's really satisfying for, uh, part of the job to see the project from start through the middle to its completion. Working as, a, as a, an electrical engineer on these projects, you need to be a driven person who, who's um, self-motivated. You have to be able to get on with people and you know, work to a goal and work as part of a team. And I think you know, if, you, if you haven't got those skills, you might develop them fairly quick because you need, you, need them, you need them all to get the job done and get through projects. There's a training program sort of specified for, for each engineer that uh, is controlled from, from your manager. So basically they want to see you develop from different grade, developing cons constantly through your, through your working career. It is encouraged within Board Mona, like the, the more skills that you can develop, those skills are transferable to your work and you know, it's, it's, it's something that is rewarding for both the staff and the company, so it, it is encouraged. It's basically a, a constant learning. Every day you're learning something different about different parts of the, of, the, of the work. I think people who get on and enjoy the job best are people who have a bit more than just engineering to, to their own lives and that you know, they have other interests that can feed into their work, but you know that you've, you're more of a rounded, I suppose. With regards to career opportunities, obviously because it's a a wide ranging company with a lot of bases in different sections, parts of the Midlands. Um, there's opportunity for moving around from section to section, so it's uh, it's very beneficial from that point of view. Something that advice I'd give to someone that would be looking for a job in Bournemouth: be willing to learn something new every day, which is something that'll always happen. The biggest advantage working for Bournemouth is that you, the variety of the work that you're getting, you're getting a massive uh, amount of uh, experience and exposure to different areas. No two days are the same, so you're, you're not bored in, in the job. I'm very positive for the future in the way that the Board of One has been able to diversify over the years. It's certainly no ordinary job. Mm -hmm.